is the biggest thing that is holding you back from being the best church member you can be? There are many different excuses or many different things that we can look at and blame and say, if I did this a little better, I might be a better church member. What our churches need today are people that are in the perfect will of God. Hi friend, I'm Pastor Josh, and today I have another quote to share with you that God has used in my life. Thanks for stopping by so that together we can continue on our journey to develop the mind of Christ. Today's quote was shared by evangelist David Korn. I had the privilege of hearing evangelist Korn preach this last week as we brought teens from our church to snow camp at Camp Kobiak. It was a great opportunity to get away in the middle of the winter just to have fun and yet to focus on the Word of God. We had the privilege of hearing Evangelist Korn preach five different times. He challenged us with a number of things, but in his final message, he challenged us about doing and living the perfect will of God. See, in life, we make all sorts of excuses and what's going to hold us back or this is my area, but God wants us to live in his perfect will. How are you and I going to know that? It's not just for the big decisions of life, but also for the little decisions of life. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, the Apostle Paul challenges us about knowing and doing the perfect will of God. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. As the Apostle Paul was writing to the church at Rome, he was challenging them about their own lives. Really, to be church members, we must take care of our own lives first. He says to offer their own lives as a living sacrifice. The Old Testament Jews knew exactly what that was. A sacrifice was something they would do with animals. Sometimes they would give money as a sacrifice, but often it was an animal. And when they sacrificed an animal, they killed it. Well, here the Apostle Paul challenges the church at Rome to be a living sacrifice. Don't kill yourself, but rather die to your own desires, your wants, to what your flesh craves, and live to God. He says to be a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God. Holy is without sin, to be blameless. Not doing whatever I can justify in my flesh. It's okay, or I'm better than a different person down the road. But what's right before God? He then tells them not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of the mind. Being conformed is like pouring water into a cup. It conforms itself to the cup. But being transformed is being changed from the inside out. God wants to change us by changing our thinking, not just by starving the flesh or stopping the flesh, by by changing the very way we think so it works out through our body that then we're a living sacrifice holy unto Him. Are you in God's Word? Are you listening to Him speak to you through the Bible? God wants to use His Word to transform us into his image so that then you and I can do the perfect will of God. This isn't just for the big areas of life. Where do I go to college? What occupation do I choose? Which house? Who do I marry? Do I make a change here? Do I make a job change there? But even in the everyday decisions, how am I going to act with my spouse or my children? How am I going to act with my siblings? How am I going to treat those that I work with? How will I respond in this situation? God wants you and I to do his perfect will. So let's allow him to transform us through our mind by his word so that you and I can do the perfect will of God. Because then we can be what the church needs most, people that are in the perfect will of God. Will you do that today? Will you do that this week? Let's yield to God. I hope these thoughts will help you to evaluate your life so that you can live in the perfect will of God. If this has challenged you, would you share this with a friend so that together we can grow on our journey, developing the mind of Christ? Thanks so much for stopping by today.